Hello, my name is Gedmina Sampartem, I'm Amazon FB seller and in today's video I'll be taking you to another retail arbitrage trip. So today first stop is Morrison's. I don't usually source in the store and uh, so today I'm gonna be trying something new going to different stores and I will see how that goes. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. <laughs> Okay, first product discounted from 25 to 17. So I do open seller central app, scan the barcode, find the listing, select the listing, uh, just quickly go and enter cost of purchase of 17 pounds. And I can see the estimated profit is over six pounds. Open buy go, do the same. I can see the estimated sales is a bit slower selling product. Just quickly check in the price movement and I can still see that this price is quite stable. Okay, so that's me back from the first Morrison's and as you've seen, I managed to find a profitable product. Um, however, that was that was it. A very poor toy section in my opinion. There is not a lot of toys at all compared to other stores. However, better than nothing, four, I managed to pick up four of those products. I, I think pro profit is averaging between £6 to £8. Pounds. So, you know, it's not bad. It's still better than nothing. Um, let's just keep keep going. On the way to another Morrison's, there is the Sainsbury's as well, so I just quickly stopped and I will go check it out. I'm not expecting much because I recently had a lot, a lot of success with Sainsbury's, uh, but it's always good just double checking your local stores once in a while. So let's just go and see if there is anything there. And what do you know? There you go, Barbie said, discounted from 20 to 10. So once again, open Seller Central app, scan the barcode, find the listing, select the listing, and yeah enter the um, cost of purchase which is 10 pounds and uh, yeah brings your profit to six pounds open buy but go do the same enter the buy price 58 percent return investment uh, quite a nice estimated sales as well just go into charts just check the stability and of the price i like to tend to do that just double check the price i can see that um, price is quite stable so quite quite happy uh, I go back to the seller central app and see uh, the next FB seller price which was £24.41 so I just quickly enter the price and reanalyze and I can see that I can make even higher profit if I match FB seller so more than happy to pick up th these two Barbies another find look at this and <laughs> look how many so seller central app a uh, very nice sales rank of 10,000 do the same Open the uh, Seller Central app, cost of purchase of £5.10, over £4 in profit, open the buy bot, go, look at that, over 110% return investment, very nice estimated sales, just quickly go to charts as always, check this price, and price seem to be quite stable, i seen some dips in the price, however, um, yeah, price is quite high at the moment, so I'm happy to pick all of these products up. Very, very nice find. There you go. Well, 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 what can I say? You know, I even had to go back to grab a trolley to be able to pack all of those Harry Potter sets, you know, what can I say? Five pounds discounted to almost five pounds ish. I can't remember five pounds, five pounds ten. I think it was. Great, great find. Picked total of seventeen units. Um, there you go. It just goes to show. You never know. You never know where there could be potential sales, discounted products. Therefore, you have to stay consistent. Go to your local stores once or twice a week minimum and just keep checking, keep checking. There is something out there for you. Just stay consistent, don't give up. And there you go, it's just a living proof here for you. Without further ado, let's just go to another Sainsbury's as I was planning, maybe hit another Tesco's and see what we can get there. Okay, so finally got to another Morrison's and let's check this Morrison's out. And of course it's raining, yay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, just out of the Morrison's, didn't really find anything profitable, unfortunately. However, there is potential with this Morrison's. Uh, has much, much larger uh, toy section as well. There was discounted toys as well to half price. However, none of them were very profitable at all and quite slow selling some of them. 
I didn't really waste much time. I was just looking for the toy that I picked up earlier on. That's what I was focusing on. I scanned a few products. I didn't scan um, as many of, as I could potentially have done. Uh, just because I didn't really have much time and I don't want to waste any more time in Morrison's. So I'm just going to hit another Sainsbury's and then I'm going to, on the way home, I'm going to go to a couple of Tesco's too. Well, okay, let's just go. Okay, so I'm on another Sainsbury's just now and I will probably grab a trolley this time. Let's go. Let's see what I can get. <laughs> There you go, look at this Monopoly. Set discounted from there, almost 30 pounds, I believe, to 15. So, seller central app, as always, scan the, find the listing, select the listing, enter the cost of purchase, which is 15 pounds, and then I'll analyze that, which brings my profit almost to 10 pounds. Do the open bubble go, enter the buy price, analyze this again. Look at that, return investment 64%, uh, checking the estimated sales, quite a nice, steadily selling product very 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 steady price as you can see just quickly checking all time and yeah i can see that the price is very steady so i'm very happy to pick all of these monopolies uh yeah very very amazing actually find i believe there was total of 13 units that i picked up yeah 13 units yeah amazing there you go this marvel avengers um iron man Quickly scan that again using Seller Central app, enter the cost of purchase, open the buy but go, do the same, analyze, we have 66% return investment, over £3 in profit, very nice estimated sales, very steady price, happy to pick all of these as well. I think I got total 4 of these uh, Iron Man figures, yeah, 4 of them as well, nice. What a stop, what a stop. As I said, you never know. Only probably this star estimated profit from selling all of these units should be somewhere close to 100 pounds. But you know, I'll run through the numbers once I get home. Now I'm very conflicted. Should I go to another Sainsbury's? Should I just go to Tesco's as planned? But you know what? Uh, considering the Sainsbury's been so good this morning, I think I'm just gonna swing by a couple more Sainsbury's and I'm just gonna add them to my um, sourcing stops today so let's just go to another Sainsbury see if I can get anything else okay so that's another Sainsbury so let's just hit the Sainsbury's and see what I can get if I can get anything at all <laughs> Nerf gun discounted from 50 pounds to 15 well the open seller central app as always um, and the cost of purchase of 15 pounds and it brings profit to almost 10 pounds. Do the same with Bybot Go, enter the cost of purchase, analyze, 62% return to investment, nice estimated sales, so just quickly check the price. And I can see the dip in the price and previous price was quite steady at 44.99. So what I do, just enter the 44.99 and reanalyze, which increased my profits to almost 17 pounds. So I'm very, very happy to pick all of these Nerf guns. So I think I got four of these Nerf guns. Look at this. Another amazing file, quickly open Seller Central app, enter the cost of purchase of £25, which brings my profit to £12, almost £13. Do the same with buy go, analyze, 49% return investment, nice estimated sales, quickly check the charts, I can see that the price is quite stable, it's recently decreased, I could probably even price of this product for higher like 68 or 60 something so I might uh, do that as well so yeah I picked those two sets as well another nice find scan that very nice sales rank what do enter the cost of purchase of six pounds and 75 which brings my profit to four pounds and 31 open the buy but go do the same enter the buy price Analyze 64% return investment. Nice, nice estimated sales. Very fast selling product. Price is a bit unstable. However, I can see that there is potential for this product to sell at higher price as well. So before Christmas, I might just increase my price as well. So I'm quite happy. I always double check as well if the price decreases, uh, if I would still be making profit. So I always like to play safe. 
Wow, well, another successful stop. I get yet again, Sainsbury's. Um, I mean, change of plans. I don't think I'm going to be going to Tesco's. Um, I have another two Sainsbury's in mind and I'm going to quickly swing by and see if I can grab more profitable products. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. As you can see, back of the car, it's already filling up, you know. So very, very, very pleased how is this turning out. Uh, to be so successful. So yeah, let's just keep continuing. I see you in the next Sainsbury's. Okay, so I'm another Sainsbury's. Let's just go check the Sainsbury's out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just out of the Sainsbury's and this time there was literally nothing in the Sainsbury's. There was a lot of products on sale, but none of them are profitable and I couldn't find anything that I picked up from uh, previous Sainsbury's. Uh, so yeah, I was really looking looking for a monopoly. I was like, yeah, because it's a really great selling product, but unfortunately no luck. So there you go. It just goes to show uh, you find some pro profitable products in some stores and others won't have them. So. Anyways, I still have another Sainsbury's left. Let's just hit that and see if I can, if I get lucky there. See you there. Okay, so that's me at the last stop, last Sainsbury's. Let's just check the Sainsbury's out. See you there. Okay, look at this Lego sets. Uh, so many of them, no price tag. So what I do, I just use my scanner to double check the price because I previously purchased this product in different stores. And look at that, still discount in the store too. What I do, I just two Lego sets in one. I just enter the Lego name because I can't scan the barcode because the pack the way that they're packaged. So I just find listings individually. And the first listing I found for this Lego set, what I do is enter the cost of purchase, which was five pounds, and estimated profit should be over close to nine pounds. I do the same with the net other Lego set. Just use the name because I can't scan the barcode. Find the listing again. Yeah, just checking the listing, finding the correct listing, go and do the same, enter the cost of purchase of five pounds. And for this particular Lego set, the profit should be over two pounds and 50. So I picked total of 12 units, I believe that was. Yeah, 12 units. Okay, so that's me out of the, my last store. It took me around three hours and 20 minutes to go to seven different stores. As you can see, the car is filling up. I'm gonna be heading home now. That Lego set is a good example why it's important to have a scanner because from my previous video I bought this Lego, you can watch the video, I will leave in the description section below. I bought this, lots of these type of Lego sets for £10 and it didn't have a price tag. So hence I checked with the scanner and it was still discounted to £10. That's why it's important to have a scanner with you. Uh, it just allows you to double check the prices. I checked a couple other different products. So I checked the Monopoly board game. It uh, was priced up at £33. I was hoping it's still discounted to 15 but it wasn't the case. So that's why I'm going to need to keep an eye on that particular uh, Sainsbury's. And maybe that Monopoly board game will get discounted. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head home now. And I will run through the numbers we choose in a minute. I will share with you how much I spent for all of these products. And I will share the estimated profit as well. See you in a bit. Okay, right. So I managed to actually pack all of the stuff that I purchased, as you can see. And as promised, I'm just going to quickly run through the numbers. So I spent total amount of £711. And the estimated profit I should make from selling all of these products uh, should be over £500. And um, using current prices, I could potentially even make higher profit if I hold some of the products uh, as well, just because Christmas prices tend to go up and increase. And so the return on investment as well uh, for all of these products is 70%. So again, amazing, amazing trip. Um, as you can see, got seven boxes. Collection is already arranged. UPS is collecting this stock tomorrow. Again, I have a Facebook group, free Facebook group, available, very active. If you have any questions, uh, please join the group. I will leave that in the description section below. I will leave the links to Instagram and my Twitter as well, if that you prefer to connect that way too. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please please drop drop a like. Let me know that you're enjoying these type of videos. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe as well. You take care. Bye-bye.